in our next couple problems, we're going to take it a step further. We're not only going to identify the type of pattern we're going to see, we're going to come up with an equation that describes that pattern. So I start with my first one, and I say negative 8 minus a negative 1, well, that's negative 7. And negative 64 minus negative 8, that gets really big really fast, doesn't it? If I look at this, I'm thinking maybe I'm not going to add or subtract. I'm going to multiply or divide. So let's do that. So negative 8 divided by negative 1 is 8. Negative 64 divided by negative 8 is 8. Negative 512 divided by 8, or negative 64, is 8. And negative 4096 divided by negative 512 is 8. So this is exponential. So exponential follows the form y equals a times b to the x power. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace x and y and solve for a because I know b is 8. That's, how, that's what we're multiplying by each time. And I don't suggest you use 0 because weird things happen with 0. So let's use 1 and negative 8. So I'm going to say negative 8 equals a times 8 to the first power. Or negative 8 equals 8a. So a is negative 1. So we're going to say y equals negative 1 times 8 to the x power. So I'll say y is negative 8x. Okay, let's take a look at our next one. Negative 12 minus a negative 27. Well, that's 15. Negative 3 minus a negative 12. That's 9. I can see it's not linear right away. 0 minus a negative 3 is 3. Negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3. Then I'll go 9 minus 15 is negative 6. 3 minus 9 is negative 6. Negative 3 minus 9, or negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. So this tells me it's quadratic. Which means I'm going to be in the form of y equals ax squared. And once again, don't use 0, 0, because weird things happen with 0, 0. Let's use 1 and negative 3. So we're going to say, Negative 3 equals a times 1 squared. Well, that means negative 3 equals a, doesn't it? So y equals negative 3x squared. Now, let's check that. If I put in 0, 0, that makes sense. How about I put, put in negative 1? Well, negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times negative 3, oh, negative 3. Let's try it one more time. Let's try it with negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. It checks. So that works out kind of nice. Now if we take a look at example 7, it says the table shows the number of children in low enrolled in a beginner's karate class for four consecutive years. Determine the best model to represent this data. Then write a function that models this data. The only thing that's going to be different is I'm going to write my answer in function notation. Well, let's start here. Let's look at our differences. 11 minus 8 is 3. 14 minus 11 is 3. 17 minus 14 is 3. 20 minus 17 is 3. Oh, it's linear. So linear is y equals mx plus b. My slope is 3 because we just found that. It's what we go up by each time. My y-intercept is when x is 0, so my y-intercept is 8. So y equals 3x plus 8. And like I said, we're just going to write in function notation. So I'm going to say f of x equals 3x plus 8. That's the only thing that we do different on this problem.